When it comes to tooth issues, it is the aim of every dentist to try to save and restore a tooth. But sometimes, the extent of decay can be so bad that the tooth can no longer be restored. And in such a situation, a tooth extraction becomes the only treatment option. So what is a tooth extraction? Tooth extraction is a dental procedure where the tooth is completely removed or pulled out of its socket. Some of the reasons why a tooth may get extracted would include where you have excessive tooth decay, especially when it can no longer be restored. Tooth infection, especially when there is a big abscess or swelling. Crowded teeth, especially when orthodontic treatment or braces is required. In this kind of situation, some teeth may need to be extracted in order to create the space needed to correct the crowding. Dental trauma or injury, which can actually result in a fractured tooth or a mobile tooth. When there is severe gum disease, you can actually have alveolar bone loss, which can also result in tooth mobility. And finally, an impacted tooth, which may be causing some pain and discomfort, especially an impacted wisdom tooth, or what we call the third molars. Now, before a tooth gets extracted, there will be need to take a dental x-ray. This is to have a good look at the tooth root and the alveolar bone, and also to check if there is any present abnormality. If you have any medical condition, or you are taking any medications or supplements for these conditions, it would be wise for you to tell your dentist before having a tooth extraction done. Depending on the findings during the preoperative assessment, you may be required to take some antibiotics prior to the dental extraction procedure, especially in cases where you have infections or other medical conditions. Prior to a tooth being extracted, you would definitely be given some anesthesia so that that area can be numbed and that way you don't feel any pain during the extraction procedure. Now when it comes to tooth extractions, there are basically two types. You have the simple extraction, also called the forceps extraction. Now the fact that it's called simple doesn't mean that it's so simple. It involves the use of a dental elevator to loosen the tooth and this is then extracted using the dental forceps. Secondly, you have the surgical extraction. This type is actually done for cases where you have a fractured tooth or an impacted tooth. A gum flap would be raised to be able to expose the bone and have better access to the tooth. Once the bone is being exposed, part of the bone may actually have to be taken off so that it can have a better chance at taking out the tooth. Once the tooth is completely extracted, sutures may be placed so that you can have better wound healing. Endeavor to take your medications as prescribed and follow every instruction given to you so that it can prevent any possible risk or complications. Some possible complications can include persistent bleeding, poor wound healing, dry sockets, and even infections, so be careful. At about a few days to a week, you'll be required to go back for a follow-up dental checkup to assess the level of wound healing, as well as take off any sutures that may have been placed after the extraction. If you begin to experience persistent pain that isn't going away days after the extraction, or you start to notice any signs of infection, please endeavor to visit your dentist, because it could be a sign that the socket is not healing and you may be developing a dry socket. That being said, we've come to the end of this video. Please make sure to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you can get notified when I post new videos and I'll see you in the next one.